Hi, my name is Luigi Sambui and I'm a Solutions Engineer at Plaid. Today I'll be showing you how to get started with Auth in the Sandbox environment on web using Node and one of our containerized quick starts. This requires no coding whatsoever and you'll be able to get started within minutes. Our Node quick start is just a quick Google search away. Just head to the quick start docs. Make sure to read over the documentation and follow the instruction for the Docker version. We recommend using Docker to make dependency management much more straightforward. So make sure to have the latest version installed. Open up your terminal. Head to your preferred directory. and clone our quick start page. Navigate to the quick start folder and copy the environment example file to a new file called .env. We will then ask you to modify this file to add your personal client ID and secret. These credentials can be found on your dashboard. Head to team settings, then keys. And now you can start editing your ENV file. To be able to use the auth flow, we recommend specifying a redirect URI. For the sake of this demo, just using localhost will work. Make sure to end the URL with a forward slash. If you're not sure what a redirect URI, I recommend checking out the intro to auth video. You are free to use a HTTP uh, URI, but we will ask you to use an HTTPS uh, URI for development and production. On top of that, we ask you to not use query params as this will not work in any of our environments. After you've modified your ENV file, make sure to save. The next step is running the Docker container to compile your language of choice. In this case, I'm going to use Node, but we offer a variety of quick start options such as Python, Java, and more. Make sure to have Docker running before compiling this. Once Docker desktop is up and running, copy the next command. This will launch the Docker instance as well as creating your local host. To leverage the logs, we recommend also using this command. Now that the logs are working, head to your local host domain. Now link is ready to be launched and a link token has been generated. To fully test the auth flow, we recommend using the dedicated sandbox auth institution, also known as Platypus Auth. You can find this bank by typing Platypus or Auth. If you specify the reader URI correctly, the bank's consent page will overtake the whole page. In this login, we have three options. For the happy path, we will grant access, otherwise we can choose to deny access or simulate an error to understand which errors we should handle when this type of paths happen. The node app is able to recognize when a redirect URI 
is sent, which in this case is the localhost 3000, and when it has a fragment included. When the fragment is included, it will initialize link the second time, as explained on our introduction to auth video, and actually complete the auth flow with a second link instance. Here we are. We are ready to leverage all of Prad's products going through the auth flow without writing a single line of code. We hope that the quick starts are an easy way to explore the world of bank migrations um, and the auth institutions. Hit the link in the description to consult our Q&A or submit feedback for new questions you may have. Happy building!